fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Hyo Silver, the Lone Ranger. Help! 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 Sam Weatherby's Lady Luck Mine is just a mile away, Tonto. You know, in the old days, we would have heard shooting by now. Me remember well. This rip-roaring country. Plenty big job helping Sheriff Gilbert clean out bandits. I just hope it stayed cleaned out. Sounds like trouble back again. Come on, Silver! Hind foot. Maybe him and Shed. That's a tool shack for the Lady Luck mine. You better take a look inside. Sheriff, sure, over. Him dead. Knifed in the back. Didn't have a chance. One shot's been fired. I wonder if he shot at the killer or just to draw attention. The sheriff, nobody's fool. Not like him to walk into trap, unless somebody pulled plenty clever trick. Whoever did it must have been hiding in this shack waiting for him. Back here, best place to hide. No sign of killer now. Tonto, look. Spur. Someone was careless enough to lose one. Horseman Kimasabi. Three, maybe four, come. Kimasabi. Maybe it's better we not wait. Them might think us killers. We'll have to take that chance until I can find out more about them. If things get rough, be ready to make a run for it. Uh, me ready. I wonder why these riders are so close to the shack right after the sheriff was killed. You think one of them killer? One of them's missing a spur. We may have the answer. He's masked, boss. Thanks, Pete. I'd never have known if you hadn't told me. Keep him covered, Slick. We're not looking for gunplay. Aren't you? Then why'd you fire that shot we just heard? You're mistaken, mister. We didn't. Hey, boss, ain't that Sheriff Gilbert's horse over there? Yeah, so it is. Where's the sheriff? In the shack. Come on, boys. He's here, all right. He's dead, boss. I'd say one of you two gentlemen was very proficient with a knife. Which one? We both are. We didn't throw that knife. Didn't you? Am I really supposed to believe that? Oh, oh. Dusty Duncan, boss. Dusty? What's he doing here? The mine's not working these days. Dead? Burn it? What's the idea of fussing in Miss Sally's tool house? When it's supposed to be... Hey! What's going on here? I don't know yet, Dusty. But it looks like this masked man and the Indian just murdered Sheriff Gilbert. Murdered? What for? He was the best peace officer we ever had. Yes, he was. I wonder why someone wanted to get rid of him. That's a very good question, mister. Supposing you answer it. Yeah, mister, you've got a lot of explaining to do. Everybody liked Sheriff Gilbert. I know that. He was a friend of mine, too. 
It's easy to call a man a friend after he's dead. I knowed all the sheriff's friends, and they didn't include no masked men and engines. If you don't believe me, take me to see Sam Weatherby. He knows me. That's a big order, friend. If you want to see Sam, you'll have to dig him up. You mean Sam Weatherby dead? Six months dead. Knife in the back. Just like the sheriff. I'm sorry to hear that. Who owns his mine now? His daughter, Sally. I've been a foreman since her pa died. And I never hear to mention no masked men and engine. There's no reason she should. She was away when we were here before. Why waste time with him, boss? Let me take that mask off and see what he looks like. That's a good idea, Slick. Oh, shoot, you'll hit me. You're mighty tricky, friend. I must remember that in the future. All right, drop your guns. Drop it, Dusty. I haven't seen you in this territory before. Naturally not. I only bought my ranch here last year. But I'm really quite law-abiding, if that's what you're trying to find out. Ask anybody in town. Sure he's law-abiding, so am I. It's you should be answering the questions. I'll be glad to, Dusty, as soon as you've answered a few. You and your men take the sheriff's body back to town. See that he gets a decent burial. I'll keep this as evidence. What about Dusty? He stays here. I don't get it. I said Dusty stays here. If anything happens to him, you'll have two crimes to pay for instead of one. I'll risk that. Now I'll get going. What about our guns? You can come back for them later. They'll be here. Do as he says, boys. Pick up the sheriff. All right, on your horse. What do you want with me? Why did you kill Sheriff Gilbert? Me? What makes you think I done it? I have my reasons. Must be good ones. They are. Well, if you, if you really want to know how I killed the sheriff, I'll tell you. I was standing outside the shack here like this, uh, settling up my horse, when all of a sudden he gets jumpy like this. Hello! <laughs> Yeah, all right, Kimasabi. Sneaking sidewinders. What happens now? A knife in the back like you done the sheriff? I told you before, all I want from you is some information. Information? I don't get you. If you're asking who killed the sheriff and Sam Weatherby, I don't know. But twarn't me. Any idea who it might be? Sure. Huh. Somebody was mighty anxious to get a hold of Sam's mine. So anxious that he'd kill for it. When did this trouble start? Oh, from what I'm told, about a year ago. Every time old Sam made a shipment of gold from the mine, the stage was robbed. Drivers and miners getting killed right and left. And that's still going on? Well, it would be, only Miss Sally's dead broke right now. All her hands are scared to work the Lady Luck anymore. <laughs> but she ain't given up yet. <laughs> Not by a long sight. I see. By the way, Dusty, you're missing a spur. Where is it? There? Oh, spur? There. <laughs> I wish to know. <laughs> Couldn't find it anyways this morning. Why are you so interested? Just wondered. All right, Dusty, you can go now. Go? Why, sure, anything you say, mister. It strikes me that you're the ones ought to get going. There's probably a posse out looking for you right now. Get on, get on, get on. Why you let him go, Kimasabi? Him only one with spur missing. That mean him killer. Maybe, Tonto, maybe not. There's something about Dusty that makes me believe he's telling the truth. How will we find out for sure? That depends upon Dusty's next move. If he's innocent, he'll head for Miss Sally's place and tell her what's happened. I'll ride over there and have a look around. And if him guilty? Then he'll hot-foot it back to where the sheriff was killed. He'll be afraid he left one of his spurs there and want to get it before anyone else can find it. Uh, me understand now, Kimasabi. 
Me head back to shack before Dusty. Right. I'll meet you there later. First Dad, and now Sheriff Gilbert. Maybe Dusty, too. But why should anyone want to harm them? Gold, Miss Sally. Greed for gold. But I've closed out the mine. What could anyone gain now? The mine itself. What do you mean? I think someone's trying to force you to sell by killing anyone that wants to help you. And I'm afraid that he and his men will stop at nothing until you do. I know. I'm at the end of my rope. But I've got to go down fighting. Dad left this mine to me, and if I can't make a go of it, then I don't deserve to be his daughter. That's being brave, Miss Sally. But don't you think it's a little foolhardy? Why? Think of all the lives you're risking. Well, what else can I do? Face facts. Be practical. Running this mine is no job for a woman. Don't wait until more violence and murder force you to sell out. Do it now. But sell out to me. Why do you? Well, because I'm far better qualified to cope with these criminals than you are. You see, I have men and money, and I'll give you a fair price. That's very generous of you, Jeff. But no, I can't ask anyone else to take my risks for me. I've got to work this out by myself. Dusty will help me. That's a big order, Miss Sally. One inexperienced girl and a poor old man against these ruthless outlaws. Old, am I? <laughs> Still young enough and strong enough to lick the hide off of you, Jeff Barnes. Dusty, thank goodness you're safe. Take it easy, Dusty. I meant no offense. I know you're a good foreman. You're dead burn right I am. I'm going to catch the crooks been robbing Miss Sally if it's the last thing I do. But they caught you. How'd you get away? Oh, them two. <laughs> they let me go. Wish they knew what to make of that mass man and engine. Don't strike me as bandits. All they done was ask me questions. Well, if they didn't kill the sheriff, then who did? If I knew the answer to that, Miss Sally, I'd know where to look for all the gold that's been stolen from you. What kind of questions they ask you, Dusty? <laughs> Wanted to know why I killed the sheriff. <laughs> Ain't that something? Yes. I wonder where they got that idea. Well, I must be going. You know, Miss Sally, things are getting worse every minute. But my offer to buy you out holds good until tomorrow. Think it over. Thanks, Jeff, I will. Come in. The masked man. What do you want here? Don't be alarmed, Miss Weatherby. I've come to help you. I don't need any help from strangers. I'm afraid you do. Didn't I hear Jeff Barnes offer to buy you out? Yes. He thinks if he owns the mine, he can catch the man who's behind those murders. Does he have any idea who it is? I don't know. Do you, mister? An idea, but no proof. Who is it? The same man who left this spur where Sheriff Gilbert was killed. That's my spur. I know it is, Dusty. Dusty. Now that we got our guns, let's go join that posse that's looking for the mask man and the engine. Wait a minute. Dusty's gun. Funny it's still here. I wonder where the mask man let us go, but not him. I don't know. Why don't you ask him? I don't have to. They probably found that spur we planted. That's why they've got him. You mean you think they're lawmen? No, you fool. They figured Dusty was in on those gold robberies. <laughs> probably want to force him to tell where he hid the stuff. We can find out soon enough if that spur is still here. Gone. They must have found him. The boss will be plenty sore about this. The boss can't lose either way. That posse's going to string somebody up for the sheriff's murder. It doesn't matter much whether it's the masked man, engine, or Dusty. Matter much. Put up hands. It's the engine. Now, wait a minute, engine. We ain't done nothing. Don't kill him, you fool. The boss might want to ask him some questions. Here, give me a hand. We'll get him out of here. It's the masked man and Dusty. Thank you. 
you all right, Tano? I had plenty close call. Quick, Kimasabi, we go after them. No, Tano. I want them to get away. Them know who killed Sheriff Gilbert. Van Dusty Spur and Shack make him look guilty. Why, they're dead burned rattlesnakes. Yes, I suspected as much. Barnes was a little too anxious to buy Miss Sally out. Then why are we not capture them? Because I want to give them time to tell Barnes just how much we know. What good will that do? We still don't have any proof that Barnes is our man. But every outlaw gives himself away if he's scared enough. What is it? I'm busy. It's that engine, boss. He knows all about us. You don't say. I'm scared to death. What's he talking about, Slick? When we went to get our guns, the engine was hiding there. He heard us talking about planting that spur. That's very clever of you blabbing like that. I don't like blunders. Oh, we couldn't help it, boss. We didn't know anybody was listening. Is that all he heard? Ain't that enough? It's nothing. Just the Indian's word against yours. Hearing's no proof. Yeah, but the masked man and Dusty showed up right after that. Supposing they come here looking for proof. Good. We'll give them a reception they're not expecting. Here, Pete. Put these records down in the cellar with the gold. Sure, boss. And stay down there a while. Don't come up unless you hear trouble. I'll go in the back way and see if Jeff Barnes is up to anything. You two go around the front. Supposing you let me do the worrying. I've taken care of you all right so far, haven't I? Yeah, sure. But if the masked man ever finds that gold dust in your cellar, he'll have the proof he needs. Then it's up to us to see that he doesn't. Now get outside and keep your eyes open for unwelcome visitors. There we are. You don't know when to stop, do you? First it was robbery, then murder. What is it this time? It's gold, Barnes. The gold I just heard you say was in your cellar. You've got big ears, mister. If there's any gold in my cellar, it belongs to me. Can you prove otherwise? You're a rancher, Barnes, not a miner. The law will be curious about all that gold dust. You've got it all figured out, friend. It's too bad you didn't get here a few minutes earlier. Then you'd know that wall behind you isn't solid. My man Pete is standing there now with a gun in your back. That's an old trick, Barnes. You don't think I'll turn around and look? You don't have to, mister. I'm here like he says. Now, get his guns. What do we do with them, boss? Get rid of him. He knows too much. Not so fast, Slick. We'll get rid of him, all right. But first, we've got to find that Indian and Dusty. Why don't you go looking for them? It would be much easier if you told us where they are. He needs a little persuading, Pete. It's a pleasure, boss. Now, where did you say they were? I didn't say. But that posse might be coming here after you. All right, mister. If you'd rather die than talk. <laughs> Are you all right? Yes, Tonto. Where's Barnes? Me too busy fighting not see him leave. He didn't go out either door. I'm doggone sure of that. Then he left through a secret panel on this wall. He's got clear away by now, then. I don't think so, Dusty. All that gold he stole is hidden in this cellar. He won't leave without taking a big chunk of it with him. You help Tonto tie up those two. Yeah. Let him not get away now, Kimisabe. Better take a look outside, Tano. There must be another way out of that cellar. Ah, me do. Dead, burn it. The house is haunted. That's just what I was looking for, Dusty. Barnes, come up with your hands high. Dusty, give me your gun. Give you ten seconds, then I'm coming down. Time's up, Barnes. I'm coming down.
such a ruckus in all my life. Anybody hurt? I'm all right, Dusty. But our friend Barnes isn't feeling any too well. You can tell that posse we got their man. Friend, there's nothing I'd like to do better. There you are, Miss Sally. The rest of the gold is in Jeff Barnes' cellar. I can never thank you enough for all you've done. The miners sure will be happy about getting back to work. <laughs> Kima Sally, do not forget we have work to do. No, Tano, I haven't forgotten. Goodbye, Miss Sally. Dusty. After all the work those two have done, I should think they'd need a rest. Rest? Man's got no time to rest when he's kept as busy as the masked man. Dusty, who is the masked man? Why, he's the Lone Ranger. Harold Silver! <laughs> 